Hello everyone. Hope you guys are keeping safe. So in this video, we shall discuss that how one needs to approach the verbal ability section that is English for CAT and other exams like CET, SNAP, CMAT, ZAT, IFT and also other banking exams. So let's start. English, a subject or a language? Yes, this is the first thing that I want to discuss with you. Whether English is a subject or a language. Unfortunately, what has happened is we have always been treating English as a subject and not as a language. But as we all know, English is a language. Now, when you treat it as a subject, you have a fear in your mind and you have a different approach to learning it. But let me ask you one simple thing. Have you ever made a deliberate attempt to learn your mother tongue or any regional language? No. You have already learned it and learned it. आपका मदर टंग हो या कोई रीजनल लैंग्वेज हो एंड यू गाइज आर क्वाइट फ्लुएंट इन दैट लैंग्वेज सो व्हाई नॉट इंग्लिश बिकॉज हमने उसको कभी लैंग्वेज की तरह ट्रीट ही नहीं किया है सो व्हाट आई वांट यू ऑल टू डू इज टेक दैट फियर आउट ऑफ यू एंड अडॉप्ट इंग्लिश एज अ लैंग्वेज नॉट टू मास्टर एनी लैंग्वेज देर फोर बेसिक स्किल्स दैट यू नीड टू अक्वायर वन इज रीडिंग सेकेंड इज राइटिंग Third is speaking that language and fourth is listening to that language. Listening I mean listening and understanding. Okay. Now the first thing you write any exam be it CAT, SNAP or anything. The first thing that will, they will check is your reading skills. Now reading skills kaise check karenge? Either by reading comprehensions, by parajumbles, by paracompletions or any other type of questions. So this is the first thing that they will be checking in your exam. So every mentor will suggest you that you have to read and read and read. But also remember that your writing skills will also be tested at some point of time and speaking skills as well. Like writing skills will be tested in written ability test once you get a call from IAMS. Speaking skills will be checked in GD and personal interview. So hence it is very important that you adopt a wholesome approach towards English rather than treating it as a subject. Now how to do that? First we'll focus on reading. So let's discuss reading now. Now the basic question that every aspirant has K how to read. Now what happens is you have been suggested by everyone that you need to read for at least 1 or 1.5 hours a day. So what you guys do is you engage yourself in marathon sessions of reading. Eight ghante ke liye aap continuously padhte hain or yeah, for 1.5 hours ke liye continuously padhte hain. Let me give you a very simple example. Maan lije aap French seek rahe hain. Abhi recently you have started learning French. And after one or two months, I ask you to read continuously something that is written in French language for 1.5 hours. Definitely you will be able to read. But the question is ki aap jo 1.5 hours mein padh rahe hain, aap sirf usko narrate kar rahe hain. You are just pronouncing the words that are written. But your comprehension is very low. And this is what happens with every student. Sir, I am reading continuously, but my answers are not coming. Try and understand that your competition is not reading. How much you can read in one hour, tell us about it. It is not only reading. You have to read and comprehend. And that is where the basic problem lies. We are only reading and we give a little bit of comprehension. So what you need to do is divide your reading into two parts that is first attempt and second attempt. Now what do I mean by first attempt and second attempt? Aap koi bhi ek passage select kar lije. Usko sirf ek baar mat padhiye, usko do baar padhiye. Ab first attempt mein aapko karna kya hai? First attempt mein in one go aapko pura article padhna hai. Aur aapke saamne ek sketch bana lije, sketch in your mind ki this is what the passage is trying to say. Or this is what the article is trying to say. And also you will encounter some unknown words which you will not know the meaning. Don't stop on the unknown words. Go with the flow. Guess the meaning or leave the meaning. Once you are done with your first attempt, unknown words check the meaning in the dictionary and write them in your notebook. Also cross verify that what you have guessed the context and meaning is right or not. Once you are done with this, go for the second attempt. And once you go for the second attempt, अब आपको सारे unknown words भी पता है, and you have a little fair idea about what the passage is all about. Now in your second attempt, you will see that your comprehension will at least 
इम्प्रूव बाई ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी परसेंट आपको पैसेज ज्यादा समझ में आएगा जो आपने पहला स्केच आपने तैयार किया है पैसेज के बारे में अपने माइंड में दैट गेट्स क्लियर ठीक है पहले ब्लर था अभी ज्यादा क्लियर हो रहा है सो वट इज हैपनिंग इज बेसिकली आपका कंप्रहेंशन इंप्रूव हो रहा है सो so, ये आपको कंटिन्यूसली प्रैक्टिस करना है फॉर सम डेज मे बी फॉर अ मंथ मे बी फॉर टू एट एन इनिशियल स्टेज ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन एंड लेटर यू विल रियलाइज जहां आपको दो अटेम्प्ट लग रहे थे समझने में आज आपको सिर्फ फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में ही समझ जाता है ऑल्सो वेन यू रीड एनी आर्टिकल टू आइज देर आर अनदर बेनिफिट एज वेल यू अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द लैंग्वेज आपको ग्रामर समझ में आता है ऑल्सो यू अंडरस्टैंड द पंक्चुएशन दैट आर गिवन इन द पैसेज ठीक है बहुत सारी नई नई चीजें आप सीखते हो बिकॉज यू हैव कंटिन्यूसली रीडिंग वट इज रिटर्न एंड रीडिंग इट टू आइस ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ यू नीड टू रीड सो लेट्स डिस्कस कंप्रहेंशन नाउ ना कंप्रहेंशन एवरी वन नोज कंप्रहेंशन इज योर एबिलिटी टू अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग बट देन बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन आते हैं सर आई हैव बीन कंटिन्यूसली रीडिंग फॉर लास्ट वन पॉइंट फाइव मंथ एज यू हैव सेड बट स्टिल मेरा कंप्रहेंशन इंप्रूव नहीं हो रहा है आई एम स्टिल नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड या फिर मेरा कैम्प मेरा एक्यूरेसी इंप्रूव नहीं हो रहा है सो वट द बेसिक प्रॉब्लम इज ना कंप्रहेंशन बेसिकली डिपेंड्स ऑन टू फैक्टर्स वन इज योर बैकग्राउंड एंड ऑल्सो वॉट यू हैव रेड इन द पास्ट Now what do I mean in, with this? Background. For example, आप इंजीनियर हैं ठीक है इंजीनियर स्टूडेंट्स के लिए साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी के आर्टिकल्स थोड़े ईजी जाते हैं वेर एज इकोनॉमिक्स एंड फाइनेंस के थोड़े डिफिकल्ट जाते हैं और अगर का आप कॉमर्स बैकग्राउंड हैं तो आपके लिए बिजनेस एंड इकोनॉमिक्स का थोड़ा ईजी जाएगा वेर एज साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी का थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट जाएगा सो कंप्रहेंशन थोड़ा बहुत एट एन इनिशियल स्टेज आपके बैकग्राउंड पर डिपेंड करता है क्योंकि आपने उस टाइप के आर्टिकल्स कभी पढ़े नहीं है ठीक है एंड दिस इज वॉट आई मीन बाई वॉट यू रेड इन द पास्ट मान लीजिए आप इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड के हैं और आपको बिजनेस एंड इकोनॉमिक्स में बिल्कुल भी इंटरेस्ट नहीं है सो वॉट यू हैव डन इज यू हैव रेड ऑल द आर्टिकल्स एक्सेप्ट बिजनेस एंड इकोनॉमिक्स बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली जो भी आप मॉक टेस्ट दे रहे हैं आप जो भी एग्जाम दे रहे हैं उसमें बिजनेस एंड इकोनॉमिक्स के कम से कम दो आर्टिकल आते हैं और बाकी रिलेटेड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी का एक फिलोसफी का एक आर्टिकल आ रहा है तो व्हाट हैपेंस इज कि आपका जो एक्यूरेसी है वो बिजनेस एंड इकोनॉमिक्स में बहुत कम आता है एंड देन यू स्कोर लो एंड देन यू थिंक कि मैं तो एक डेढ़ महीने से पढ़ रहा हूँ बट स्टिल मेरा एक्यूरेसी इंप्रूव नहीं हो रहा है या मेरा स्कोर इंप्रूव नहीं हो रहा है सो वेन यू रीड और वेन यू कंप्रहेंड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू रीड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ आर्टिकल्स रिलेटेड टू डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स Now I'll tell you what are the different subjects of the RCs. The RCs in CAT or all other exams will be based on one of these topics like business and economics, science and technology, social sciences, philosophy and sociology, humanities and current events. So what you need to do is you have to keep a track on the articles that you have read. Man, lije ap business and economics ke aaj tak six articles padhe hain, science and technology ke seven, social sciences ke maybe you have read eight articles. Once you are done with that, you also need to analyze your mocks by checking कि मेरा business and economics में overall actually mocks तो आपको R C S का accuracy बताएगा, but आपको ये भी check करना है कि आपके business and economics में मान लीजिए 75 percent accuracy आ रहा है, science and technology का मान लीजिए 85 percent accuracy आ रहा है, and social sciences में आपका let's say 60 percent accuracy आ रहा है. So अगर आपका यहाँ पे 60 percent accuracy आ रहा है, तो this is the kind of R C S that you have to work on, and जै, जैसे जैसे आप एनालिसिस करेंगे जैसे जैसे आप अलग अलग आर्टिकल्स पढ़ेंगे अल्टीमेटली आपका एक्यूरेसी भी बढ़ेगा और आपका स्कोर भी बढ़ेगा एंड दिस इज हाउ यू नीड टू अडॉप्ट अ होलसम अप्रोच बाय रीडिंग ऑल द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ आर्टिकल्स आई होप आई एम क्लियर नाउ दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई रियली वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस द एग्जाम ओरिएटेड अप्रोच प्रॉब्लम क्या होता है कि सिंस डे वन लेट से इफ यू है राइट कैट दिस ईयर ओके so what you guys do is you adopt an exam oriented approach let's say sabko pata hai ki cat mein rc sabse zyada aata hai so what you guys do is you just keep on solving rcs but sabko pata hai ki aap cat ke alawa snap bhi denge and also aap cmat bhi denge and maybe other exams as well and cet as well theek hai then what happens is aap may be score kar loge 95 percentile in the verbal ability section in cat But unfortunately, you will not be able to score that good in SNAP or maybe CET. 
Why that happens is because आप ने एक exam oriented approach adopt किया at a very initial stage and you have just been practicing RC and RC. But इसमें कुछ अलग type के questions आएंगे किसमें SNAP में, CMAT, NCAT में. Now those questions will be more like out of syllabus to you because you have never ever practiced that. You have only concentrated on RCs. So इसलिए at an initial stage of preparation do not go for an exam oriented approach. Just start mastering English. And once you start doing that, आप अगर English सीख जाते हो, तो बाद में आपको सिर्फ questions का practice ही करना है। So do not adopt the exam oriented approach at an initial stage. But yes, when you are just two months away from CAT or maybe two and half months, you can only go for RCs rather than other type of questions. So at an initial stage, I won't suggest you to go for an exam oriented way. But yes, at a later stage, you should go for this. Now coming to the sources of reading. Now you can read from different sources. You can read editorials, you can read books, you can read magazines, whatever you feel like. If you are at an initial stage of preparation, I would suggest you to go for Times of India. And if you do a little bit of reading before, you can the Economic Times, the Hindu Business Line. Also, if you are at a very advanced stage of preparation, you have done a lot of reading already in the past, then you can go for The Guardian, Washington Post. And the best way is you can check this website, theldeligo.com. That is Arts and Letters. Let me show you this website. So this is the website ldaily.com. If you scroll down, you will see there are different types of articles or I would say there are different newspapers ka link here pe diya hua hai. Uh, right from ranging from the Hindu hai yaha pe and then you have the USA Today, you have then you have magazines, then you have you have almost everything here. Okay? You have articles of node, new books, essays and opinions. So, if you already read a lot in the past, then I would suggest you to go for this website. You can learn a lot from here. So, that was all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this video, please hit the like button and also share and subscribe. And if you have any queries, contact us on this number. Also, I want to announce our online CET batch, online live CET batch, which will be starting very soon maybe in the first week of July. I'll put the details very soon. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Till then, take care, stay safe.